Common Census Festival is this incredible nexus where science and art and technology and all these things collide. We're creating a festival and the contents to be inclusive so that all members of the community can enjoy. We're using this also as an education and an awareness tool to really just educate the broader public on what it's like to have to walk in the world and, and you know have like a, a hyperactive or hypoactive uh, sensory system. The headquarters for the festival will be at Kaneko. We'll have installations there for families and individuals and any community member to come experience and enjoy. And the installations are really going to marry some really profound parts of the autism world, so the research world and also technology and the arts. One of the goals of this festival is that individuals can experience this common senses concept in a medium that, that resonates with them. We have three incredible installations from world-class creators. I study, you know, environments, materials, and then in my personal life, I have a daughter with autism. <laughs> so I've actually been able to, to study the combination of those two things and really look at how environment influences and sometimes influences very powerfully the behavior of children and individuals with autism. So at the Common Senses Festival, the installations um, are this combination of textiles and actually interactive projections. It's like a big three-dimensional stretchy iPad <laughs> that you can climb within and, and move through. Everyone has a, a very personal relationship with a textile, so it's an interesting twist to see what happens when you present that at an architectural scale. So instead of bringing people into laboratories, I'm interested essentially in taking the lab to people. I'm working with James Coleman. He's an architect and an engineer, and so we're developing the living room. And it's essentially a set of technologies that you can embed in a pre-existing environment. What you will experience is the promise of environments which are totally tunable to your desires and preferences. And then the second, uh, exhibit we're putting together is called cardio chair. We're developing chairs that are um, translucent and have lighting embedded in them and then through kind of a clever design where when people are sitting in the chair where they place their hands we can do um, capacitive sensing. What we want to do is I let people identify that there are individual differences and then encourage them to engage in communicative activities where they can try to see if they can achieve the same physiological state as each other. The things you get when you blend art with science is you increase the accessibility of something which might be quite technical. And, and I believe that something better comes of that collaboration than what any one of us could have pulled off individually. I came up with this idea to create a cylindrical space that you could walk into and you're surrounded by projections on all sides. I started thinking about like the bird's eye view and that can be a little more challenging for folks on the autism spectrum right. because the details uh, are so compelling. And so the opposite of a bird's eye view is a worm's eye view. It just means that if you're in the grass, you're just fascinated by the blades of grass and, and like the close-ups on them. And so a worm's eye view is an installation that is just delving into all these magnificent close-ups of the natural world. And I'm getting to see something from a vantage point that isn't something I typically get to see. And I'm finding it utterly compelling myself. Really, when you bring all these things together, something magical happens that's, that's much greater than any one of those individual components on its own. I've been really thrilled with the feedback and with the enthusiasm for the event once we actually describe what it is and what's gonna happen here in Omaha. To me, these are taking my science and my technology, bringing them into an experiential forum where we can explore our common senses and our uncommon senses. I'm just excited, like my goal, I guess, is in people going to this is that they can gain an understanding of autism, they can gain an understanding of themselves, and they can just also get to experience beautiful art. We talk about the festival, we don't want it to just be one awesome month. This is really gonna help move us, move the needle, and then keep it moving, and really be a catalyst towards, towards continued growth and, and evolution, if you will, uh, for the inclusion efforts here in our community.